In this video, we're looking at nine of the toughest American workhorse engines ever built. The power plants that moved buses, trucks, machinery, and entire industries. From screaming Detroit diesels to massive GMC and Chevrolet big blocks, these engines earned their reputations through raw endurance, brutal torque, and decades of hard labor. Let's dive into the legends that simply refuse to die. GMC 7, 02, twin 6, V12, 1960 to 1965, the GMC 702 Twin 6 is one of the wildest gasoline truck engines America ever built. Introduced around 1960, this 702 cubic inch V12 was essentially two GMC V6 engines combined into one massive cast block. It shared many components with the famous GMC 351 V6, making maintenance surprisingly easy for such a huge engine. The 702 produced around 275 horsepower, but a massive 630 pound-feet of torque. At only 1,600 revolutions per minute, ideal for concrete mixers, heavy trucks and fire engines before diesel domination. It ran smoothly, pulled like a locomotive and made a deep thunderous sound that drivers never forgot. Despite its size, it was engineered for reliability. Modest compression, servicing quality and Short production run makes it incredibly rare today. And enthusiasts salvage them from old trucks to swap into rat rods, vintage pickups, and so International Harvester 392V8, mid-1960s to mid-1980s. The International Harvester 392V8 was the biggest member of the IHSV engine family, a group of overbuilt gasoline V8s designed for work, not speed. Introduced in the mid-1960s, the 392-powered IH pickups, travel alls, Lodestar trucks and school buses through the 1970s and early 1980s. Factory power ranged from 190 to about 235 horsepower, but the real story was the torque curve. These engines pulled extremely well at low RPM and were famous for reliability under constant load. The block is incredibly heavy, around 760 pounds, thanks to massive cast iron main webs and thick cylinder walls. Factory power ranged from 190 to about 235 horsepower, but the real story was the torque curve. These engines pulled extremely well at low RPM and were famous for reliability under constant load. The block is incredibly heavy, around 760 pounds, thanks to massive cast iron main webs and thick cylinder walls. Detroit Diesel 6 V71 late 1950s to 1995 the Detroit Diesel 6V71 is one of the most iconic two-stroke diesels ever built. Part of the Series 71 family introduced in 1938, the 6V71 arrived in the late 1950s and quickly became a favorite for buses, military vehicles and industrial machines. Each cylinder displaces 71 cubic inches. That's where the name comes from. Total displacement is 426 cubic inches and the engine uses a roots blower for scavenging, giving it the signature Detroit Scream. Power typically ranged from 200 to 300 horsepower with torque over 5 500 pound feet. The 6V71 was loved for durability, easy serviceability, and its modular design. Liners, pistons, and many parts were interchangeable across the entire 71 series lineup. Detroit Diesel 6.5 liter, 1992 to 2002. GM's 6.5-liter diesel was designed to be a fuel-efficient alternative to big-block gas engines in the early 1990s. It evolved from the 6.2-liter design but added more displacement, turbocharging on most models and optional electronic fuel control. Power ranged from 180 to about 215 horsepower, with torque around 360 to 440 pound-feet. The 6.5 became common in suburbans, pickups and vans, and the US military adopted it for the HMMWV. Early mechanical injection versions are considered the most reliable. The engine has quirks, especially the PMD failure on electronically controlled models. But with upgrades, the 6.5 is known to last hundreds of thousands of miles. AM General still produces an upgraded version called the Optimizer 6500. Lives on as the Optimizer 6500. Detroit Diesel 8 V92, 1974 to 1995. 
The Detroit Diesel 8 V92 is the bigger, louder sibling of the 6 V71. Introduced in 1974, it used the same two-stroke design but increased displacement to 92 cubic inches per cylinder. With eight cylinders, total displacement reached 12.1 liters. The 8 V92 produced between 360 and 435 horsepower, depending on turbocharging. Torque easily exceeded 1,000 pound-feet. It became extremely popular in city buses, fire trucks and marine applications thanks to its power and compact size. Like all Detroits, the 8 V92 consumed fuel aggressively and sometimes leaked oil, but its serviceability and durability made it a fleet favorite. Even today, thousands of these engines are still used in boats and industrial equipment. The Detroit Diesel 8 V92 became a legend not only for its brutal power, but also for the unmistakable deep throttle roar that only a big two-stroke V8 can create. Navistar T444E, 1994-2003. to the Navistar T444E, known in Ford trucks as the 7.3 power stroke, is one of the most respected diesel engines ever put in a pickup. Introduced in 1994, it replaced the outdated IDI engine with direct injection, turbocharging and an advanced HEUI fuel system. Early engines made around 210 horsepower, while late production manual transmission models reached 275 horsepower and 525 pound-feet of torque. The T444E version used in school buses and medium-duty trucks was slightly detuned for longevity. With a cast iron block, strong internals and simple emissions equipment, the 7.3 is famous for million mile reliability. Even today, it's common to see these engines running in fleets, buses and old Super Duty trucks. Chevrolet 427, Tall Deck 5.8, late 1960s to late 1990s. The Chevrolet 427 Toll Deck V8 wasn't designed for sports cars. It was engineered for trucks that lived their entire lives loaded to the maximum. In the late 1960s, Chevrolet took the standard Mark IV 427 and created a special Toll Deck version, specifically for medium-duty trucks, school buses, and industrial equipment. The block was taller at 10.2 inches, the cylinder walls were thicker, and the pistons used an additional oil control ring to survive constant high-load operations. Power output didn't look impressive on paper, usually around 200 to 250 horsepower. But that wasn't the point. The Tall Deck 427 delivered huge low RPM torque and was designed to sit at 3000 RPM for hours without overheating. These engines routinely survived hundreds of thousands of miles in grain trucks, dump trucks and buses. Built for medium duty trucks and buses, 